Hello friends, welcome back to Node.js tutorial. So we already discussed about the basic introduction things and installation process and last we have already discussed about how to start with Node.js. Right? So today I will going to show you some minor topics of Node.js that is some concept about the global objects. Right? So what is global objects in Node.js and how we can use this and some example of global objects so we'll discuss each things with an example so let's see so first things what is global object so node.js is an open source project that can be used for server side scripting so we all know that and we already discussed about their things and node.js global objects are the objects that are available in all modules right these are built-in objects that are the part of javascript and can be used directly in the application without importing any particular module means without importing modules we can use that and this is the global objects and this is already built in so let's see some examples so some of examples so if I just go into the terminal so this is the node demo and actually we have created these things in the last video so now I want to show you how to access the globally suppose if you simply type node here and press enter then you will get a terminal and from there we can use the node.js code or node.js global objects code we can access that things so currently we are using the latest LTS version of node.js that is the 16.13.1 right and here some of the global objects like console log or console.run or anything suppose simply write console dot log suppose here write hello right and if you just give enter here so we can see the hello so this is the another reason why it's showing undefined you, you can say why it is coming is there any error but I am saying this is not an error so here write another that is note JS. so here we can print the hello node JS. still I am getting undefined so actually undefined is the written type so if I just go here and simply just inspect any things and just go to console and here we can access the console also console dot log and write here hello enter so we are still getting undefined that means actually it expecting some return type but here we are not getting any return type or we are not getting any return from a functions or any particular section that's the reason it's showing undefined it's nothing else it's not error not anything so right so let's go back so we can get the output in this way now if I just go here and simply write the same things that is console dot log and here write hello node js right so we can print from the browser we can print from the terminal or we can directly access from the terminal so let's we can access from the from the file also so node and the file name index.js so simply write index.js so we can get in hello node.js it's cool so we can access all those things from globally right so in the same way we have some others object also like um, any file name suppose if i want to get what is the file name or which file we are currently executing so simply write inside the console log so that we can print the output so just write console.log and underscore file name right so basically it represents the file name from where we executing the file so simply just go here and re-execute so we are getting the home hp desktop node demo indexes basically this is the absolute path where this file is actually located right in the same way if i just access another object suppose console log and here just write the directory so from which directory it's running so simply write underscore underscore directory name and it will get the output the directory structure that means it will not give the output of the file name but it will give 
the output or the directory that is the node demo so this is the file name and this is the directory name but still it's absolute path all right so these are the basic global objects so let's say some other things suppose we already hear about the set timeout or set interval or any others objects so how we can use this inside the node.js so simply create a set timeout function so basically set timeout is a function to return the callback with uh, some interval right so i can say it the interval so simply write the set timeout and let's create a function suppose function and here simply we can return or we can pass any time interval so basically this is the uh, accepting the time with a millisecond so suppose if i write thousand that means it's one second and if i make it two thousand so that means it's interval with two second right so let's output some things from here console dot log so here i just want to write um uh, output output from set timeout okay so simply i'm writing this way so basically this will call after two millisecond sorry two second right so now just go here again and let's call node index js so it will give the output hello node js and after two second we are getting this output right so in this way if i just use the set interval that means in every two second or if i want to set every time interval i want to execute these things so basically it will help in a cron related things or API related things suppose if i want to call uh, suppose api right and you need to refresh your page without loading these things so we actually need some data from other side and we need the set interval so instead of set timeout just write set interval so basically it will call the functions with a particular interval right so now just go here and let's clear all the things and just write this so it will actually call automatically after each two seconds so you can see this output from set timeout output from set timeout and it will execute and it will continue to execute so right so just stop this otherwise it will continue to execute so let's stop and now how to stop this so to set interval we need to use the set interval function and we can still clear the interval also so how we can clear suppose i want to clear the interval or i want to or i don't want to continue after the five times of output so how we can do this simply just create a logical concept so simply i'm taking uh, let i equal to suppose five so i want five times so let i equal to five so, so not five here so let i equal to one i'm just initializing the value of i from one and now i will increment these things with each interval or each two second or each execution right so now just right here if i is greater than five that means i don't want to execute this so just clear the interval so simply write clear interval so just write here i right so there will be not i actually we need to set the time into a particular case so simply write times equal to these things and here just pass this so basically i will clear the interval times right so all is good now just go here and clear again and let's execute so i want five times so one then two then three four and five okay so after five times it's stopped so now i want to say it if i just want to send a message or if i want to call a functions when we just 
clearing the interval then simply we can write from here so simply I'm just consoling the output the right data by by so now just go here and clear this and run again so after execution of five time it will say data bye bye right so three times four five and data bye bye okay so actually this will be after the execution okay so just here so that you will get the output in this way so basically this was the global object concept of node.js and there is lots of objects in node.js and you can search from the documentation section like set immediate clear immediate or clear timeout clear micro task or there is lots of things in this way so please see from the documentation for further there are lots of things so basically how node.js global objects are working so we are getting some concept about these things hope you like this video so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video so next we are going to discuss about the function expression using node.js so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye